Um, I could also make a run for it. Like, just run up to that ladder, climb up, and hope for the best. Mm. I'm curious as to what's up there, though. But... <sighs> it's all or nothing. All or nothing. All or nothing. Come on, come on, come on. Up, 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 up. <laughs> Made it. What you wanna do? I'm not going back down there. I'm definitely not. There is nothing else here. Except for a single item. Red tearstone ring and... Whatever that is. Yeah. Red tearstone ring. What do you do together with the curse bite ring? We haven't read you just yet. One of the infamous bite rings commissioned by Sir Astor of Karim. Despite the dreadful rumors surrounding its creation, this ring is an unmistakable asset in its ability to help prevent curses. And the red tearstone ring. The rare gem called tearstone has the uncanny ability to sense imminent death. This red tearstone from Karim boosts the wearer's or the attack of its wearer when in danger. So the reverse of the blue tearstone. Okay, that's cool. And no, I'm not going back down there to bother you guys. I'm just gonna homeward bone out of here because there is indeed nothing. This just connects the two areas in some way and might give you a quicker access in some way to whatever is down there. Either way, I got no clue. Maybe I do. Maybe I do. Um, let's see. Let's see. I'm not sure if this even is a thing, but uh, Astora, the blacksmith, near the Undead Parish, he had an item with him for sale. I think that thing was called the Crest of Artorias. I'm not sure. Could also be the Crest of Astora, in which case I'm just completely wrong about stuff, but if it is Artorias, then that might be a key to finding Artorias. Because I have no clue at the moment where I'm, what I'm supposed to do. I'm not going to jump down into that abyss. No. Hi. Well, I'll be. That's a brilliant amber you've got there. And I know that you can use it. In the trade, that might be the finest. Do you want it for free? Sure, no problem. Just an old smith. I'd give my left arm for a gem like that. Yeah, don't do that. Who is going to hold the swords in that case? Well, thank you mightily for that. Now, just leave the rest to me. And I will certainly I'll come back to you. Gets the job done. You shall see. Yes. So, uh, purchase item. Where is it? Crest of Artorias. I th thought it said Artorias, I wasn't sure if it said Astora, but this thing, crest open, sealed door in the heart, oh, heart of the forest, can I, uh, this crest opens a door in the dark root garden, sealed by ancient magic, the door leads to the grave of Sir Artorias, the abyss walker, many adventurers have left for the grave, but none have returned, for they make easy prey for local bandits. With such dangers, the crest can do more harm than good in the hands of the uninitiated. We need this thing to find Artorias. Artorias is dead, near his grave, so... 20,000 souls, I have the right amount, I'm going to take that. Go get yourself killed. Trying to. Neither of us want to see you go hollow. And in the meantime, I think I have a fairly good idea of where the garden is. Pretty much. However, before we go there, I do think it is time to at least get a different outfit. Because hopefully we don't have to return to the demon runes again. And be honest, does this look good or does it look terrible? 
This is not fashion souls material. Definitely not. Also, um, I'm not entirely sure. Can we upgrade our short bow now that we gave him another ember? Like, normal weapons you can upgrade to plus 50 now, but the bow I have never been able to upgrade any further. So, Andre? Mm, that's an odd ember you have there. Yeah. It won't be easy, but I'm afraid you'll have to look for someone else. Yeah, I don't know who. It's a fire ember or something, chaos ember, stuff like that, no clue. Either way, uh, I want to uh, reinforce my weapon. Can I do that even further with the bow? It's plus five, so I don't think I can. I could go with composite bow, maybe, but yeah, no. Normal bow is not in between here, so that should be modified equipment. That means I need large titanite shards. Um, that's annoying. That is bothersome. I'll be seeing you there. Do I? I don't have them, but what do I have? I have titanite chunks. Hmm. You know, I think I'm quickly going to pay the. The merchant in Sands Fortress a visit, because I kinda want to upgrade my bow. So, be right back. There we go. New outfits, weapon upgraded to plus nine. It's uh, Sands Merchant sells large titanite shards for 4,000 souls each. The giant blacksmith and Anna Londo for 3,800. So, either way, it's still way too much. Either way, we have. We don't need the transient curses at the moment. I should change those. Uh, don't know what for. Um, what do I want to change it for? Uh, rotten pine resin, maybe, maybe. I mean, I don't really use the. I don't use the resins much. Also, I can't use the bloody resins on this weapon. Which is most likely because the weapon itself is already pretty powerful. Perhaps it's a downside to not be able to use the resins, but on the other hand, less micromanagement for you to trip over. Eh, I keep forgetting about that. Oh well, it doesn't matter, doesn't matter. I can just remove him for now. Either way, yeah, the forest, we now have the key. At least it was the key, right? Yeah, Crest of Artorius. So, hopefully... I mean, I. this is a forest. If I have to place a area named Darkroot Garden anywhere, it's going to be here. Definitely. So, uh, we did go here once before, I think, temporarily. And we encountered one enemy, I believe. It was this guy. Hi. Long time no see. You're quite weak, which is okay with me. Uh... Hiding place. Yeah, definitely. Definitely hiding place. But yeah, I have no idea what to expect here. It's a weak area. A dark root garden. There we go. But... I hear something moving. Hi! <laughs> you have a long aggro range, that's for sure. Um... Yeah, two areas to go. There was an area, I think, once all the walls of light disappeared. There was an area which looked like this place. Or at least forest area-ish. Either way, uh, what the heck do we have over here? This looks like an awfully dangerous path. Very dangerous. I don't know what the right way to go is. So we're just gonna see what happens. By the way, I see an item all the way in the distance. Uh, the fact that this reminds me of the Valley of Drakes doesn't really make me that happy. Dark root basin? Basin? Okay. That's from one area to the next. I. Dark root garden can't be that small, right? Right? Um. Okay, weird bigger platform area. 
Hi, 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 hi. Get over here. No, you don't. <laughs> Two twinkling titanite and a titanite chunk. I'm okay with that. Need head. It's been a while since we saw those crystalline lizards. By the way, yeah, uh, luckily the falling isn't that bad, but still, not greatly happy. Uh, is that an item? Yeah, okay, how do I get there? By jumping down from here? Uh, that can't be safe. That can't be safe, we're gonna do it anyway. There are no enemies here. Leather armor, leather gloves, leather boots, longbow and feather arrows. Let me see. Um, leather armor. We have hard leather, so... Um, armor made of soft leather, very common protective type of gear. Well, that says a lot, doesn't it? It's a shame those early game armor sets don't have that much information on them. All the other things you find do have something useful to say. Oh well. Okay, well... So, how do we get down here like that? Okay, this is where we came from. Which means... Yeah, I'm not entirely sure if we need to be here. Like, we went towards the garden. Uh, my idea is we need to go to the Dark Root Garden. Where we're going right now is not the Dark Root Garden. In thrust. Shield ahead. Okay, does that mean I need to raise my shield or is there a shield over here? I see stuff. I do like these messages. For some reason I did not have any of them uh, in the demon runes. Either way, be wary of enemy. Great. What type of enemy? No, 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 no. Oh god. Black Knight? You're a black knight, you're not a silver knight. Oh. Is that? That's a halberd. Oh, hey. <laughs> oh, would you look at that. I deal a lot more damage to you. No, come on. There we go. Perfect. I have grown so powerful. Black knight halberd and a blue tight knight chunk. Okay, that's pretty sweet. Let me see, um, that's the Black Knight Halberts. Where are you? You need the spears, I guess. Also, I kind of want to try the Dark Hand. I have no idea. I mean, 999 durability. Is that a shield? What even? Uh, the Dark Graves incited by Cave use the power of the Dark Soul to absorb humanity and art shared by this weapon. Uh, spectral Shield. How much does it block? Only 80. But 80 against everything. That is quite good, except for the stability. Ability. Uh, still, uh, do what you need to do. Check out the Black Knight Halbert. Don't play around. Black Knight Halbert, that is. Eh, D and E scaling. That doesn't look that amazing. Uh, 32 strength. I can't even wield it. Well, that should say enough. Halbert of the Black Knight's Wonder Lordran. Used to face Chaos Demons. The large motion that puts the weight of the body into the attack reflects the great size of their adversaries long ago. Yeah. Doesn't look like a amazing weapon to me. Try parrying. Yeah, I I can parry silver knights and I think that these knights work the exact same way as silver knights, but uh, I'm not great with parrying. By the way, Grass Crest Shield. They said there was a shield ahead, so... What is the Grass Crest Shield? Uh, old medium metal shield of unknown origin. The crossed, uh, Grass Crest is lightly imbued with magic, which slightly speeds stamina recovery. Okay... Um, compared to my current thing, it's not... That great, but it's not fully improved. Uh, yeah, magic goes up, but the physical and everything else goes lower. Uh, the stamina recovery. Might be nice. I mean, I like to spend all my stamina. And where the heck is this going? Bonfire! That was rather easy. I still don't know. Are we going the right way? Like, still dark roots. 
garden and we're in the basin right now. What's the difference and why was Darkroot Garden so small? Do we need to get back up or something? Because now uh, we have structures. Um. Oh. Okay. Did we unlock a shortcut? This looks familiar to the filing shrine elevator. Is this the same? Or no? Where are we going? Uh, this way. Where are we? Like, is this New Londo again? This is not New Londo. Huh? What? Funny how areas are intertwined, aren't they? I'm not so sure how useful this shortcut is, but perhaps it's an easy way to get to the Four Kings battle. All you gotta do is clear the blue vermin out. Wait. Um. I did not see this. Hi, no, I'm not here. Go away. Go away. <laughs> there is a shortcut here. Up there. What? Okay, I'm not sure if that is useful or not, but hey, I'll take it. I guess that's a quick way back there again. Oh. <sighs> Getting scared by ghosts. Whoever you are. <laughs> nice. Just stand here. I'm an enemy. Yay. <sighs> okay, so apparently we unlocked a shortcut and a bonfire. And I guess I'm okay with this. No further enemies, so... Yeah... There is the other area we can go. In the Dark Root Basin, which... Uh, yeah, the enemy is gone. We can go further over here to that area. But... I have a feeling like I'm skipping stuff. I think. I mean, there are items there, but... We started at the top, we're gonna start there again, and we work our way down, not through a quick path or something. I need to be in Darkroot Garden, that's where I need to be, so I don't know what the basin is, or what it's supposed to do for me. We're just gonna go back and see where we end up, um, if I can find my way back up that is. Also, did I miss an item there? Yes I did. See, it's worthwhile to go back, if I can get that thing at least. Oh no. It's the bloody flower. <laughs> Why do they give those flowers the looks of items? Like, that's the glow of an item. I hear you. Where are you? You're to my left, aren't you? Yes, you are. There we go. Go away. And your friend who is... Right over there. Great. Greetings. Luckily, you guys are very easy to kill. So good to have leveled up. Try kicking. Eh, death? Yeah, don't jump down. Basically. Okay, let's see. What are we dealing with? That's an item, not an enemy. Or flower. Be wary of lying in ambush. I see that guy. That's not a problem. So... I... You look exactly like that guy. Ha! Oh my god, that is evil. So, gotta pay attention to the plants now too. I wonder if working on a Dark Souls game requires you to be evil. Just look at the insane areas we've had to pass and the dirty little tricks. It's not like things are impossible, but some stuff is just evil.